For those that haven't TIG welded before, it can be intimidating. It does require a little more hand-eye coordination, but with some basic information and practice, you should be able to master it in no time. The first thing you want to do is sharpen your tungsten. If you don't have a dedicated tungsten grinder like I do, you can use a bench top grinder, just remember to use a dedicated wheel. Another thing you want to do is sharpen your tungsten correctly. You don't want to come in from the side and make your angle because it'll make lines perpendicular on the tip of the tungsten and your arc will want to start there versus going all the way down to the tip. So you want to come in parallel with the wheel and then sharpen that tungsten, spinning it with your fingers as you go, and then those lines will run parallel with your tungsten. That brings the arc down to the tip and helps initiate a better arc in the start. Once you're done sharpening your tungsten, you're gonna to wanna to insert it into your torch. So what you'll wanna do is take a look at the opening on the end of the cup. You don't want your tungsten sticking out any farther than the distance of that, that opening is wide. I typically do about three quarters. So I'll insert it in, kinda of eyeball about three quarters, tighten it up, and you should be good. So before you start welding, you're going to want to make sure that you're comfortable and that you can complete that weld without anything getting in your way. And what I mean by that is if I was to weld on this piece of steel, and I'm going to start on this end and come down, I don't want anything on this table, maybe a weld BB from a previous project or something, hanging up on my arm as I come down. I want everything to be nice and smooth. So once I have that down, you're going to come back and you're going to want to initiate that arc and then get your weld pool to form. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. So once you get that weld pool formed, what you're gonna to wanna to do then with your other hand is add your filler metal, and then just keep your timing consistent all the way down, work your way down the piece, and then when you finish, pull back, and you should have a nice stack of dime looks. So these are some of the basics of TIG welding and should help you get started. Once you master your timing, you'll be ready to do more advanced TIG welds and accomplish any job that comes your way.